Hey guys, Boogs here. Hope you're all well. As always, thanks for your views, likes and comments on our last video. Having this level of support going into the new year is a great feeling and we hope it can continue. So on that note, from us here at WET, we wish you a very happy new year. Sorry for the delay in getting this video out. Over the Christmas period, I've been ill, so have been unable to voice any videos. But with that out of the way, let's take a look at the vehicle we'll be talking about in this armor brief. And it is, of course, another PLA faction vehicle, the ZBL APC. To kick things off, Let's look at the maximum speed. So the ZBL can go up to a top speed of up to 75 kilometers an hour. This is actually the slowest of any wheeled APC by a large margin, with other wheeled LPCs having speeds in the 90 kilometers an hour range. The reverse speed is also lagging behind others in its class at a measly 10 kilometers per hour. We're talking Soviet tank reverse speed here. However, with this lower speed, the vehicle does feel more controllable on flat terrain and has similar handling characteristics to the BTR. Next on the list, the ammunition and armament of the ZBL. The main gun is a 30mm auto cannon and is supplemented by a 5.8mm coaxial machine gun. Supplied to the main gun are 460 rounds of ammunition, which are divided into 160 AP and 300 HE. This is on the higher side when compared to similar vehicles, but it is slightly less than the PLA ZBD we spoke about last week. Now the coaxial is the same as supplied to any other Chinese Vic in the game. It carries 3000 rounds and it doesn't need to be reloaded. Interestingly though, some of the variants of the ZBL, depending on the layer, can carry two HJ-73C anti-tank guided missiles. These are stored in single launch tubes located either side of the turret. These ATGMs behave similarly to the ones on the BMP, which means they are quite slow and so are difficult to hit moving targets with. But if the vehicle does get hit, the damage dealt is the standard ATGM damage value, so these are still very potent weapons. Now onto the stats relating to the weapon and turret performance. The main gun we discussed earlier can fire its 30mm rounds at 300 rounds per minute, which makes it the fastest firing wheeled APC with an auto cannon in the game at the moment. This is just above the BTR's 250 RPM main gun. However, the ZBL's turret rotates very slowly when pitted against some other APCs and traverses a full 360 degrees in 9.3 seconds. The BTR does this in 7. This means that the gunner will struggle to track targets when the vehicle is moving, especially at close range. The next thing to look at are the vehicle's health, supplies and other important details. The ZBL has a standard health for APCs at 1250 HP. This is the same as the LAV25 and Striker, but a little higher than the BTR. The vehicle is also standardized in the supplies and crew department with 600 ammo inside the vehicle and a crew of two crewmen and eight passengers. The commander seat in the ZBL does not require a crewman kit and has an unobstructed 360 degree view. Interestingly though, the driver sees through a camera that has 150 degrees of visibility. This view also displays the direction both gunner and commander are looking at, giving it unmatched levels of awareness. One other interesting thing to note is that when in its ATGM configuration, it is the only APC in squad to have an ammo rack. This is located underneath the turret on either side of the vehicle, similar to the Bradley. On its normal configuration, this is not the case. Also, the engine is placed in the front left side if viewed head on. Finally, the turret can elevate up to 70 degrees and can depress to minus 7 degrees. Again, though, these stats are the same as the BTR. Okay, the next section will be about the vehicle's armor profile. Basically, and this is very, very, very similar across our other armor briefs, the red area will disable the turret, the orange will disable the engine, and the green areas in the ATGM variant will deal ammo rack damage. Shooting any other part of the vehicle with an auto cannon will deal damage. The side, rear and turret are the only places vulnerable to 12.7mm fire. 
Finally, the gunner sights. These are identical to the ones on the ZTZ-99A, so you would be familiar with them if you had watched our previous armor brief. But in contrast, the ZBL does not suffer with the parallax issues seen in the ZTZ. Okay then, so let's have a think about what all this boils down to. First, the regular variant is similar in many respects to the BTR, but due to its unmatched visibility, high rate of fire, slightly better health and armor, it sits one step above, making it probably one of, if not the best APC playable in squad. With the ATGM variant, it can comfortably go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some eye feats. Because of its good maneuverability and these anti-tank capabilities, it does pose a real threat to many different target types, even tanks. This vehicle can be extremely effective when paired with the ZBD, as they both complement each other's abilities and playstyles. So overall, we have a very fun vehicle that, when used with a competent crew, is lethal. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Due to the upcoming New Year period, we will not be posting until sometime next week. But we hope to see you then. Please drop a like and a comment if you're happy with today's video or not. Have a good one. Books out.